Okay, welcome back. Um, let's see. Uh, career day number two. Uh, thought I'd give it another try. Uh, monkeyed around with some of my settings again, so we'll see how this comes out. Um, I apologize if the volume isn't quite right. I don't don't know what else to do about that. I, I play with it all the time, and it just I can never seem to hit that sweet spot. Um, boy, isn't he a cocky looking guy? Look at that. Kind of looks like me. Bit younger, maybe. Um, all right, so job market. I think we are, of course, we're still on our own, uh, still doing quick jobs because I don't have a truck yet. Um, so obviously we're going to be starting back at my garage. So let's see what kind of jobs we got. Obviously we want to make money too. So let's try and find something that's going to pay. Yeah, there's not a lot. I mean, $7,000, but it's only 240 miles. So I think we'll, uh. We'll go ahead and pick that one. I can go to Cheyenne. Well, they're all almost all Cheyenne, aren't they? What's the truck? International. I don't remember the last time I drove that, so eh, we'll we'll take this one. Rail export. Uh, I don't know how to tell what the job is. I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll take it. That's some weird music in the background. There we go. All right. Time to hit the road. Start the engine. I'm rested. I have enough fuel, I think. Wow. It wants me to start off in fifth gear, this one. All right. Um, what am I pulling? Looks like pretty much the same... Yeah, same kind of thing. What is that? What do they call that? A, uh, I guess it's a holding tank of some kind. Not the prettiest thing in the world, is it? Okay. Lights on. Don't think the parking... Oh, why did I do that? Uh, parking brake. Oh, it was off anyway. All right. So here we go. She said. Let's see how many runs we can get in <laughs> today. Obviously, this is the first run of the day. Where is my GPS? Uh oh, Turn I don't right. think I don't think this truck has uh, has GPS, does it? Let's see. No, that's not what I wanted. This truck does not have a GPS. Isn't that lovely? have to open up the um, route advisor just because I have no way of knowing where I'm supposed to go. That is really... Get ready to turn left. There we go. Turn left. 
I hadn't really planned on driving this by map, so <laughs> this is good as it's gonna get. I suppose I could just go right. I mean, it is. I'm sure there's right on red, but I have been ticketed for that before, so yeah, here we go. I've used that more often, but the uh, go straight on. the head turning when you turn the wheel. But it's so jittery with my wheel, it's it, it's hard to watch, so I don't use it very often. Well, there's a lot of lights in this road, and I'm going to hit every one of them. I don't know why I do this myself. I spend all day working on the road, driving, doing whatever, and uh, then I come home and I play this. It, I cannot make it. Isn't that nice? Hold up just a smidge. There we go. It'll probably be nighttime before I get there. Just fine. That's fine. Turn that music down just a bit. There we go.
straight on. Slow down, I don't want speed limit this. Oh, okay, it's 70. Now. Alright. We're on the road, finally. Away from all of those uh lights and <clears throat> stops. The train, I love trains. Pretty cool. Check my, uh, okay. I'm, uh, I'm using Linux. Of course, anybody uh, who's followed me for a while knows that I prefer Linux as an operating system. Um, and Knowing Linux as I do, of course, this is the research, of course. Um, Linux has apparently a setting built into it, Linux Mint anyway. I know Ubuntu probably has it as well, where it throttles back your performance levels, like your, your CPU, uh, your GPU, all of these things will not 
perform usually defaulted to a um, not gaming settings just everyday use sort of things and um, he went right through that red light didn't he I'm turning right um, wow why'd you do that and so you can go in, you can you can type some commands and blah, blah, blah. And you can set it to default to any performance level you want. The problem is it doesn't stay that way. So when you restart your system, it goes back to, at least in my case, it goes back to whatever low level, low power settings it wants to use. And whenever you play games, you have to type the commands, blah, blah. blah. You know, to, to get it to perform on a gaming level. Um, turns out somebody created a wonderful program called Core Control. Core, C-O-R-E-C-T-R-L. You install that and you can set it up for profiles that will basically let you run your CPU and your GPU the way you want it to run. Um, now admittedly again I've said before my CPU is pretty good but my GPU is very underpowered. It's a uh, an uh, AMD RX 570 so it's not a high-end uh, GPU by any means. So I download this program I set up my profile mainly for this game and I'm sort of keeping an eye on it. Um, and right now the activity on my GPU is 100% but it fluctuates between that and like right now 40% I don't know why um, but it's it's performing better it's giving me it's giving me the um, the frames I want thanks to this program it, it, it's not only for that purpose but it also is for monitoring purposes so you can keep an eye on your temps you can keep an eye on your frequencies and things of that sort uh, once program I am not uh, with any reinstall of mint Ubuntu whatever I use I am going to have this program um, it's a graphical program it doesn't need command lines it doesn't need the terminal to see what your what your numbers are so I'm going to run this program forever. I might actually do a quick video on it at some point explaining how, at least for me, how it's working. Because um, you can also set up curves, you can set it, you know, to, to run your fan speeds and things of that sort. So it's been a really good program for me so far. So, like my GPU's uh, Frequency, clock frequency, isn't as high as it should be, I don't think. Um, and I don't know why. I wonder if I can ramp the power level up on it. The voltage levels. I, I might try that. At some point. I'm not much for overclocking, so <laughs> we'll see. I thought I'd sort of talk about that a little bit, a little explanation. Um, so if you're, you know, you're you're running Linux and, and you're, you know, you're not getting the performance you think you should get, check this program out, Core Control. Um, I might try and put a link in the description if I remember to do that. Um, but you know, it's it's been pretty good for me. I haven't seen a huge amount of frames. Again, my GPU is older. Um, and of course you're also going to see significant drop in frames versus Windows. Um, I came from Windows 10, whereas like right now I'm shooting 60 FPS, moderate settings, you know, not super high but not the lowest either. In Windows I would have my, my settings maxed out and I would see 20 more frames than that. Um, but that's a downside of Linux and the drivers for that GPU. So, um, I, it's one thing I wish that the developers would kind of 
get on the ball, you know, get off their asses and, and, and fix these drivers so that we can get the same performance that we would if we were using Windows. Um, it's just, it is what it is. But core control, if you're, you know, you're running Linux and, and you'd like to play around with your frequencies and play around with temps and play around with, you know, maybe increasing your frames a little bit, it's worth looking at. Core, C-O-R-E-C-T-R-L. It's been kind of a fun thing to play with, so. Did that say Laramie? I think I'm in Laramie. That doesn't sound right, does it? Bit of a stutter there. What's the speed limit? 75. I don't think I'm going to hit 75. It's a bit stuttery. I, I must be coming close to a big city or something. I did raise my settings since the last time I played, so that that could be why. Missile Drive. Never heard of that. What are you doing? Come on, man. I've got 30 miles to go. I'm betting I'm supposed to turn off here pretty soon. Which means this passing isn't necessary. <laughs> Get out in front of this tanker at least. miles, 8.42 p.m. Yeah, I figure it's just going to start getting dark. squeeze through this green, I wonder. I don't like... Oh! Eh, that's what I get for not paying attention. That was uncalled for. I hit the... Uh, the light pole back there. Wonder what that's going to do to my profit margin. Go straight on. Keep 
I am discovered. You're not going to swear I've been here. Apparently, I have not. <laughs> they want me to put it. It'll be over there somewhere. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna do this. This is where it ends. Um. Are you kidding? How am I gonna manage that? That's gonna be a trick. Well, let's give it a shot. I don't think I can do it. But we'll just see. I'd like to know who parked that <clears throat> that digger over there. I might have to go to uh, external view here. I don't think I can do it without it. already messed it up. Yeah, let me pull ahead. Try it again. Yeah, I'm gonna hit this. I think I'm gonna hit the digger. Maybe not. We're over that two by four, though. Give it to me. It did. That was fun. All right, what I get? All right, I'm level two. Seven thousand. Where's that put me? All right, I can do another fuel economy. All right, so I got 17,000. So the bank is already offering me money, but I think I'm gonna wait a little bit before I uh, start taking on loans. I think that's uh, probably a smart way to go. Do I want to do another run? I think I'm going to call it quits here. This should be a short, quick video. Uh, one run. It's already been a half an hour, so that's not too bad. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, 
I'm really enjoying this again. I, I haven't played this in a while. Um, I will be doing a video shortly on core control. So look for that if you're a Linux user. Um, I think it could be very useful to people who, who are just looking to maybe tweak out a little bit more performance out of their system. Um, I don't use it for that. I use it mostly for monitoring, but I think it could be useful for that. So uh, look for that video coming soon. Um, and also look for uh, day three of my career in American Truck Simulator. And thanks for watching.